Don't watch this, players. If you're watching this, this counts as metagaming. Hello and welcome, my name is Kaur, and today I'm going to be doing a bit of an unboxing video. I've got all of my Black Friday haul right here with me. Uh, I'm just going to take a look at what I get. Among my Black Friday purchases are two Icons of the Realms, Tomb of Annihilation, uh, pre-painted plastic miniatures from Dungeons & Dragons. It's official, it's official merchandise. Uh, a used set of... Uh, the Talisman board game, 4th edition. I got that super cheap at my local game store because it was one of their rent out, like they, they had a board game renting setup, but nobody ever rented this one for some reason. So, so they sold it for like $15 and it's like $60 usually. So it was a steal. And finally, from easyrollerdice.com, actually, I don't know if that's their web, I don't know what their website is. From Easy Roller Dice. They had a crazy Black Friday deal of, I think it was a 15 dice set. So like 15 sets of these varied dice for what I think totaled out to be like almost like t less under 30 American dollars, which is insane. Um, and I bought that and that's cool. So we're going to take a look at all the things that I got, especially the, the Icons of the Realms, because those I don't even know what's inside of them. I don't know what's in these boxes. We're gonna take a look now. We're gonna start with those ones. The real unboxing part. Oh, it's just... <laughs> okay, let's see what's actually inside. That was very dramatic. Thank you, uh, Tomb of Annihilation face. Well, the reason I got this in general is because I've been recently starting to DM some games in person. Most of the games I've been playing over the years have been online because I live in the middle of nowhere, and it's hard to find people who want to be a nerd with me. But finally, I dragged some of the people I I met into a game, and so now I want to have miniatures because I just well, I just think they're neat. What's this? What's this? There's a little slip in the package. Neverwinter. Uh, oh, it's it's an MMORPG thing. I get a free code. Uh, I get some sort of thing. Neverwinter. I've never played that. So I don't know if I really care. So that's that's there. That's a thing. The box is actually very nice. I like these perforated. I don't know if... Yeah, you can kind of see. It's perforated. I don't know what the purpose of that is. So each of these are individually wrapped, except for the one face one, which I'm trying not to look at because I'm focused on this tiny one that I got here already. Oh, and that's... That is... I'm pretty sure that's one of the Yuan T like, uh, big old snaky boys. You need to focus. Oh, it says it on the bottom. <laughs> yeah, it's one of the Yuan T Brood Guard. That's what it is. That's a it's a weird name, but I like them. And actually, I was very interested as a DM for possibly throwing some of them at them. Time. Okay, what else do we have in this one? Oh, this one looks even tinier than the last one. This looks like it might be some kind of goblin shaman. Maybe. I am not familiar with Tomb of Annihilation at all, so I have no idea what to expect. It's a, a veggie pygmy, so it's like, oh, 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 I was just, oh, I know what that is. Those are like the little tiny, here, I'm going to try and get it to, so they're like these little guys. You could, honestly, you could use that for just about anything, because it's pretty small. Tiny little monster guys. I don't remember any a whole lot about veggie pygmies, in all honesty, but now I'm going to put one in my game, probably. And I mean, I could also just use that as a little goblin guy. I don't think anybody would pay that much attention. None of my none of my players ever watch my YouTube stuff, so I don't think I don't think they'll call me out on my bullshit if I use that as something that it's not. Ooh, whoa! This guy is pulling a. This guy's pulling like some sick Michael Jackson. Like I don't know if that's supposed to be like that or if it's a factory error. It's a skeleton key, except not the key kind. It's. A person who's a key. I don't... It's an error in my favor, though. I mean, check this. This guy's just leaning. He's, he's got some lean to him. He's got a fancy hat. If I was a player, I would steal that hat. And finally, the piece de resistance. I, I guess every... If I'm not mistaken, every one of these has one medium or large-sized creature. And that's what this one is. Oh, this is a Dao. It's a big old storm lady with a hammer. And her lower half is a cyclone of some sort. I want her to step on me, but she can't. She's got whirlwind legs. 
Now, I don't know about you, but if I went up against that, I'd take her hammer. I don't know if I could actually carry it. That's really huge. Well, we just went through a whole box. And the best part is, we still got a whole nother box. I might buy more of these. It's cool. Oh, you know what I just realized? I could just open that last one from the top here. This knife might be a little bit overkill, but it'll do. I should probably just leave this where I can get to it. Hopefully we don't get the face screaming at us from the bottom like last time. All right, we're gonna go kind of do the same thing again. Similar box quality, same Neverwinter thing. So now I've got two of them. Now I can have two whole accounts on this MMO I've never played. I don't know if, is it, is, is Neverwinter any good? If you've played it, let me know in the comments. I wanna, I'm actually, I'm marginally curious. I'm obviously not curious enough to look it up myself, but if one of you is just gonna tell me, oh, that's a Sioux monster. That guy, that guy's not, that's a gnarly looking guy. Those weird monsters where it's like, all of them's a monster, but they've got a like kind of human face. So it's like uncanny valley. He's not really worth a lot of looking, but he's got a, he's, he's got kind of fur. You could honestly probably use him also as a stand-in for a werewolf. I, I am. <laughs> I, I say stand in, I'm, I'm going over all the things that I could stand these in for, primarily because, oh, ho, 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 ho. sorry, uh, <laughs> primarily because I've mostly been using bottle caps for my games. So, uh, yeah, this is, this is a duo drone. This is one of them. Oh, I got a, you know, the manual focus is maybe not great, but it's definitely working better. Look at this guy. He's gonna, he almost has like a Mr. Mime kind of feel to him but a little bit more blocky. If Mr. Mime and SpongeBob SquarePants had a robot son, this is basically what it'd be. Oh, dude. This is uh, Acerac. I don't know how it's pronounced, but it's some crazy lightning lich man. I don't, again, I don't know a lot about the Tomb of Annihilation. But he's got some cool lightning stuff going on. This would be a fun little big bad to throw. I'm gonna throw that at my NPC or at my at my, at my players. Oh, this guy's stuck in there a little bit. I'm gonna have to wrestle him out. It's a large terra folk. It's a big old pterodactyl humanoid. That's nice. Nice little miniature. I've got I've got this little miniature miniature collection going here now. Look at that. All right, next order of business is talisman. Now, talisman, I'd been meaning to pick up for a while, and I'm glad that I didn't because I got this for $15, and it's normally like $60. I spent money on this. And it's only a slightly used set. If anything, it's broken in, and I don't have to unpack all the tiny things. We got our rules, how to play the game. I haven't actually read those yet, but what I have read not this. This is the playing board, actually. I want to look at that. Uh, there's more reasons to buy it, and this is, it's got a whole big map full of places and things. Little gnome hats in various colors. You got a couple. You got a couple D sixes. Those are actually pretty nice. Oh, you got you got tiny cards. What are they for? Uh, they're like most games have really generic D sixes, but these ones are a nice sort of marbled caramel color, and their one is the triangle thing that means probably talisman it's the talisman it is the talisman i think you've got more tiny cards these are the adventure cards this is spell cards purchase cards talisman cards Ooh, there's and alignment cards big old treasure they're little these black and these black pearls and these white pearls that are the black is so it's Fate tokens. Oh, so this is like probably good fate and bad fate. That's pretty. I don't know how that works in the game, but it seems like it works. A bunch of gold coins. How many? It's not written down, but there's. They all say talisman. It's one talisman. I don't know if that's. It has a one on it. Now, this is what I have read, and that's what makes me really interested to play. Is you've got class cards, so or character cards, I guess. It's not a class, because there's one of each. But so you've got all these kooky characters that you can play as, kind of like D&D, &D, except druids are in D&D, &D, so I guess it's exact. It's This is just D&D, &D, the board game. You can apparently turn into a toad, 
I don't know. I don't have. I haven't read the rules yet. You probably turn into toads sometimes, which is probably why there's four toads in this. Unfortunately, I don't know. These toads are pretty. That would be a giant toad. Giant toad level, comparing with this this mo drone, this duo drone. So you got four toads, and the toads each have a different shape of base, so you can distinguish between the toads. And then you've got 14 or so other characters, each of which could be used as player characters, That's or, or even NPCs, even, in your game. That's, that's the <laughs> half the reason I bought this, was because it comes with all these actually really not, not they're pretty decent minis. There's 14 of them. I paid $15 for this, so this is really, it's some real good cheap miniatures. That guy's got a gravestone. Why? Uh, uh, this lady's pointing. She's got a stick. This guy's got a big old noodle. Monk. Uh, you got a little bard. Some kind of lady. Maybe a princess. Maybe not a princess. You got a guy who's kind of in a hurry to take that purse of money that definitely belongs to him somewhere else. An another monk, except this time he's right-handed. Got a guy with a knife, and it, maybe he's committing seppuku, or whatever that is. Got uh, Legolas. You got Orlando Bloom. Got a guy shaving his cloak. A dwarf who is inexplicably the same height as... He's actually... I guess he's, like, mildly shorter. But he's definitely bigger than, like, most of these other characters. Oh, I dropped it. All right. Final item. I've been actually... Been, <laughs> I've been waiting so long for this. Uh, it's Easy Roller Dice. We're not, they're not sponsoring me, but they, I bought this from them, so that's cool. Uh, this was one of their Black Friday deals. It's a buttload of dice, and it was like really cheap. <laughs> All right, open the thing. First off, oh, thanks, Ryan. We got a little message from Ryan. I don't know who he is, but he seems like a pretty ch chill guy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna frame this. Thanks for the order. Enjoy. What a, what a chill, what a swell guy. I actually kind of, I've just kind of realized that the Easy Roller Dice logo has like a similar font face to the Half Dice Will Travel logo. <laughs> they kind of got that cowboy deal going. So this set comes with one big old dice bag. That's pretty quality actually. It's got a drawstring. It's pretty okay. But each set is in its own individual package. I'm gonna use my teeth here. I'm gonna be a little animal man. It's like an emerald green with like a yellowy. Okay, we're gonna put that in the bag. That's in the bag. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, there's another one right there. That emerald green with the kind of gold typeface. Or the gold numbering, I guess, would be what you would say. Those are nice. These are actually some really nice dice. So that's two sets. Actually, I'm gonna count them right now. I'm pretty sure it's 15 sets. 16, did I miscount? There's two in there, 13, 14. They gave me an extra one on accident. Thanks, Easy Roller Dice, for making a clerical error in my favor. I don't, I think maybe I was only supposed to get one of those emerald green ones. That's probably what it was. I actually don't know how this works at all. Oh, there goes dice. Dice everywhere. This one's actually a lighter green. Let's put that in the back. We got a uh, sort of like ivory color, more of a classical, classic dice look. It's way too, it's way overexposed. You can't even see it very well. There we go, now it's adjusting. <laughs> Black marbly ones with white, white letters. And the inside of this is like a blue silky look, which is, I actually only just noticed because I'm not very good. Ooh, those are nice, a blue marbly with a gold-ish, yellowish-y type, type color number face. Yeah, some dice. We got some yeller. Adjust your lighting camera, thanks. It's pretty nice, some bright yellow. Uh, similarly enough to that, we've got trans 
translucent yellow. I really like these translucent dice, actually, because you can see the numbers through the other side, which is neat. It's a gelatinous die. This is like a translucent. It's like a tangerine color. It's like a salmon. It looks more pinkish. It looks more orange on the camera. It's more of a pinkish from my eyes, but I probably just am bad at cameras. Is that my fault? Yeah, probably. We got translucent. This one's actually just straight up pink. It reminds me, it's like a pink lemonade. I don't, it, just because it's pink, I guess. I mean, pink lemonade is just, it's just pink. But it makes me think of pink lemonade because pink, pink lemonade is also pink. This is a more dark, marbly blue. It's like a white typeface. I like that one. It's like, hey, easy roll of dice, you can sponsor me. That would be. That would be okay. You could do that. Oh, this is a, actually like a really good purple. Actually, that's coming through. The color is pretty good there on the camera. That's I like that purple. Purple's a good color. I'm almost concerned that our dice bag isn't big enough for all the dice they gave us. It's really cool. This is a translucent blue one. This one's actually a little bit more opaque. I don't know. I can't really see through it quite as well. It's a little foggier. I don't know if that's on purpose, but it looks cool. So it doesn't really matter. This is a good green color. This is like a... This reminds me of like a, a toothbrush, actually. I don't know why. It just, it's just got that kind of green toothbrushy look to it. I don't know if that makes any sense. These ones are just red. It's not very special, but if you like red, which I do like red. It matches all my computer stuff. All my computer stuff's red. Last but certainly not least, this is almost... It's like a taupe but it's almost like it's a very red brown it's like a i almost want to it's not quite a burgundy but it's it doesn't it, i guess it's more of a caramel color actually I'm, I'm bad that literally bare like there's no i i could fit maybe maybe one more dice set in there comfortably and actually it wouldn't be comfortably my dice would be all squished and nobody wants a bunch of squished dice so we got a bunch of th things and some other things. And some other other things. Thanks for watching. Half Dice Will Travel. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, uh, and sell us your soul. <laughs> if the continuity looks bad, it's because my package didn't come. And so, so, so I recorded half the episode like a week and a half ago. <laughs>